नमस्ते टू ऑल माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन एंटी वाइट्स यूट्यूब चैनल सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फेमस एंड वी कैन से पाथ ब्रेकिंग एक्सपेरिमेंट इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ साइंस दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट लेड टू द डिस्कवरी ऑफ द न्यूक्लियस इन विच नेचर स्ट्रोंगेस्ट फोर्स ऑपरेट Rutherford experiment Rutherford scattering experiment is an example of elastic scattering of charged particle by coulomb interaction and these charged particles were alpha particles in 1909 Hans Giger and Ernest Mesdon performed the gold foil experiment in collaboration with Rutherford the former two were students of rutherford rutherford this experiment was known as rutherford geiger mesdon or gold foil experiment this was very famous experiment but at that time that is in 1909 the atom was thought to be analogous to plum pudding model as proposed by sir j j thompson and rutherford was a student of sir j j thompson as we know that sir j j thompson proposed first atomic model which was called plum pudding model according to this model negatively charged electrons were taken as plum negatively charged electrons were taken as plum which were embedded in positively charged pudding in other words in other words the atom was considered as a sphere of positive charge in which electrons were embedded inside it so positive charge was continuously distributed in the atom and electrons were embedded in that positively charged matrix in 1911 just after 2 years lord rutherford challenged the plum pudding model rutherford even successfully measured the size of the nucleus this famous experiment led to the discovery of nucleus nucleus was discovered when rutherford was studying the scattering of alpha particles from thin sheets of gold metal what was that famous experiment how it was conducted and what were its observations and calculation calculations let's see in this experiment rutherford directed the beam of the alpha particles on a target made of made of a fluorescent screen this screen was made up of zinc sulfide zns alpha particle is nothing but a helium atom alpha particle is nothing but a helium atom whose atomic mass is 4 units and it carries 2 un units of positive charge now see in the diagram a gold foil was placed between alpha particle source and zinc sulfide screen the diameter of the gold foil was taken 4 into 10 raised to power minus 10 meter and its thickness was about 4 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter alpha particles were emitted from radioactive source which was taken radium at that time these randomly oriented alpha particles were collimated into a fine beam with the help of two slits when a fine beam of alpha particle is bombarded on a thin gold foil 
Rutherford observed that some alpha particles are scattered or we can say diffracted at large angles. As per plum pudding model, he was expecting that all alpha particles, all positively charged alpha particles should be deflected at uniform angles. But his observations were not in agreement with that plum pudding model. Let's see what happens. See, alpha particles are scattered by gold foil. Most of them were non deflected, and most of them were deflected at small angles, and a few of them are deflected at large angles. More strangely, what he observed? He observed that out of about 80,000 alpha particles, only one alpha particle retraced its path. Only one alpha particle retraced its path. This changed the thinking of Rutherford. This confirmed that positively charged alpha particle gets scattered by some positively charged entity in the atom. That entity is confined to a very small volume at the center of the atom. Now let's see the important observations and conclusions drawn by Rutherford by that experiment. What he observed? He observed that most of the alpha particles are non-deflected. The most of the alpha particles were non-deflected. What he concluded? He concluded that the atom has large empty space. No alpha particles has encountered any positively charged particle. Second observation. He observed that some of the alpha particles were scattered or deflected at small angle. What he concluded? He concluded that there is presence of positive charge that is confined to a very small volume. Then, strangely, he observed that very few alpha particles retraced their path. I have earlier said that out of 80,000 alpha particles, only one particle retraced its path. From this observation, Rutherford concluded that a very heavy positively charged entity called a nucleus is present in the atom. Yes, it was a well established uh, norm that uh, well established fact that atom was neutral. And he also concluded, concluded that the negative charge of the electrons is equal to the positive charge of the nucleus and net charge on the atom is zero. That is, atom was neutral. It was even established by Thomson. Now, let's see. How Rutherford determined the size of the nucleus? So, we know that alpha particle carries two unit, units of positive charge and the nucleus is also a positively charged particle. We know all about it. Now, when alpha particle C
when alpha particle moves towards nucleus its kinetic energy started converting into electrostatic potential energy at point of the closest approach the alpha particle come to rest why alpha particle come comes to rest at that point because its kinetic energy becomes equal to potential energy at point of the closest approach but at the same time alpha particle is repelled due to coulomb's force of repulsion why, why this happens because both alpha particle as well as nucleus are positively charged particles we know that like charges repel each other while a like charges attract each other now what is potential energy between these <coughs> positively charged particle potential energy is equal to we know the we know it q1 into q2 upon 4 pi epsilon not into distance of separation between those charged particle now here q1 is the charge of alpha particle which is 2e and q2 is charge of the nucleus which is ze it depends upon the nature of the nucleus of the element now at distance of closest approach we can see in this animation that at distance of the closest approach that is at d what happens kinetic energy of the alpha particle becomes the equal to the potential energy of two charged particle that is kinetic energy is equal to q1 q1 is 2e q2 q2 is ze upon 4 pi epsilon not into d distance of separation between two charges so from here we can calculate d and we know that kinetic energy is equal to half mb square m is mass of the alpha particle and v is the velocity with which alpha particle is moving towards the nucleus now kinetic energy of alpha particle we know it experimentally is equal to 8 mega electron volt which is equal to 8 into 10 raised to power 6 mega mean 10 raised to power 6 electron volt is equal to 1 into 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 joule and if it is gold foil then z is equal to 79 for gold au and d can be calculated as 2 into e 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 z 79 e square again 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 and 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not is equal to we know it 1 upon 4 pi epsilon epsilon not is equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9 divided by kinetic energy of the alpha particle so d comes out to be 2.9 into 10 to the power minus 14 meter 10 to the power minus 14 meter so nuclear radius of gold was found to be 2.9 into 10 to the power minus 14 meter this was the determination of the size of the nucleus and was determined by the rutherford when this gold was replaced by silver metal and similar method was adopted similar procedure was adopted the nuclear radius of silver was found to be 2.0 into 10 to the power minus 14 meter that is also of the same order then this ag silver was replaced by 
helium atom its radius was found to be about 3 into 10 to the power minus 15 meter only small difference so it was concluded that the radius of the nucleus ranges from 10 to the power minus 14 to 10 to the power minus 15 only so this was the determination of the radius of the nucleus as well as the discovery of the nucleus by same scientist that is rutherford this nucleus is the heart of an atom it is 100000 times smaller than the atom also about 99.75% of the mass of the atom is carried by the nucleus so this important or famous experiment was led by rutherford and it negated the thomson's plum pudding model and discovered the nucleus thank you thanks a lot for watching and listening we will meet soon to know more about the electron proton and neutron proton theory thank you thank you very much